On this episode, we're doing work at the Tumbleweed Ranch, but not just any work, demolition work. Not nah, the best kind. <laughs> <laughs> There's something about demo, you know, we're yeah. just tearing something apart, it's just yeah. fun. Yes. Yeah. But we're doing something else. What? We're doing old versus new. Mm -hmm. Here you have what, an early 90s yeah. GM work truck? Yeah. Well, we also have a brand new 2024 EV Silverado. Work truck? Yeah, it's, it's a WT. This is a work truck? They still yeah. make the work truck? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> what are we doing with the work truck today? So, David, how about this? We have to demolish that chicken coop. Okay. What yep. else are we demolishing? Well, I already demolished a bunch of stuff. A uh, bunch of landscaping I pulled up right here. Took all the six by sixes off. A bunch, a bunch of stuff that the previous owner of Tumbleweed, before it was Tumbleweed owned. And we also have a dog house. And a dog house. I'd say we put the dog house in the back of the work truck and haul it to the dump. Okay. So we're doing a demolishing and cleanup, really. Yeah. And also hauling a lot of stuff to the dump. I brought my grapple and I put it on the skid steer today and it's a... Like, it's it, like a dinosaur. Yeah, exactly. You know, like Jaws. We could just like crunch this up, but the problem is then it wouldn't be very compact for hauling to the dump and the dump fees are pretty pricey these days. Yeah. So we need to make it as compact as possible. Here's what we're gonna do. Cut the roof into three pieces and put it in there. And we're gonna slice it, maybe more. But I think I'm gonna slice it here and slice it here with my circular saw. And then we're gonna try and pop this off and get it into the trailer. I have an idea. What? You know, the electric truck has export power. Oh. Can we run our tools off of it? Oh, that's a great idea. Right. Yeah. Yeah, let's... That's something else we could do. That's, I mean, it's a work truck. Oh, okay. Let's, yeah. Well, let's put it to the test. I like that idea. Okay. So, David, the new Silverado EV has a special mode. They call it power base. So, basically, you could shut the main part of the vehicle off, but it will still provide power to the outlets. Yeah, you know, I had the problem with the lightning whenever I drove it across country by myself. Yeah. Uh, I hooking up my coffee maker to it, <laughs> and I you had to turn the ignition on, or you had to get in the front and yeah, turn somehow. other accessories on somehow, yeah. to use this, and I didn't like that. And I think they're fixing that on the F-150 Lightning. Are they? But now this one has this it. This has the mode. Yeah. So, so the only thing activated right now is the outlets. Are all the outlets, in the front, in the back, back. everywhere. Yeah, I like that. So plug it in. Okay. Let's, let's, let's test it out. It's kind of a reach, isn't it? Uh, a little bit. It's a small reach. Especially because my back ain't what it used to be. Oh. Oh. I hooked up this same saw, I think, or one like it, to the Rivian. And that's full power right there. How I mean, do you know? I can just tell. My ear. I've been just, done it. just the sound of it. Yeah. I've just, done it so many yeah. times. You yeah. know when you're not getting enough power. Yeah. The Rivian didn't. The Rivian was a slow start. Okay. It didn't quite have the power. I mean, that's... I don't know how many amps is putting out this is a 13 amp saw okay. so i think at least 15. yeah so that's good yeah so so that's uh that's encouraging <laughs> uh oh i just blew the breaker are you done Oh, wow. I just blew the breaker on the truck. Yeah, you did. Because there's probably a lot more resistance yeah, in the blade. Yeah, as my blade got duller. And I think I hit a truss, a joist. So, let's go. Let me reset yeah, it. Yeah, see if you can reset it. Stay the right truck. there. Okay, I'm going to monitor you here on the on the display. Okay. Going downhill now. Okay. See it's the thing is right there. And the Chevy is providing a 20 amp uh, outlet right there, 20 amps. <laughs> I saw sparks over there. Holy! Oh, I was hitting, cutting through nails. Wow. That's why I said my my blade will be done by the time I'm done. So today is work day. We have two trucks. 
we have a bona fide, uh, well, maybe work truck. We'll find out. We'll find out yep. if it's a bona fide work truck. Uh -huh. This is a 92 GMC work truck. No. That's been working for 31 years. Yeah, it has. Yeah. So here, here's a little bit of history, okay? When I bought this, they came out with the work truck version back in the, well, no, when I, I bought one this year, not this yes, truck, but sir. I had another one, the 92. They had a work truck version. It came in white, like that one. It came with a 4.3 liter V6. It came with two doors and it came with a long bed. And that's the only way you could get it. It was a bona fide work truck, roll up the windows. I think it might've had air conditioning. I don't know about cruise control. Or maybe optional. Probably optional yeah. at that point in time. But this is out of that era. It's a GMT 400 truck. Except this one was a government truck as well. It was a Department of Transportation. I think I think it was actually a Department of Wildlife truck. So it was up in the mountains here in Colorado. And uh, the blue color was that color during that time. Uh, it's a 454. It's basic. I mean, it does have air conditioning, no cruise control, and five-speed manual transmission. And it, when I bought it, it had the flatbed. I think probably the Department of Wildlife had put the flatbed. And they had made it so they could pull a horse trailer. So it's got a ball for your gooseneck and a wood bed. So this, this is a typical vehicle that used to be a work truck, yeah. basically, which is a two-door, four-by-four long bed. And this is my favorite truck right now. Well, yeah, every time my... I see you here, pretty much this truck is yeah. here. I love driving it. it. The low torque coming here, going through the, up over the mountains, it just like motors its way around. I love it. And on the new side of the equation, we have a 2024 Chevy Silverado EV, and they're starting their electrification of the Silverado with this work truck. This is a 4WT, which means it has the biggest battery, the longest range, and also a lot of power. It has two electric motors, one in the front, one in the rear, so it's all-wheel drive, four-wheel drive capable, 510-ish horsepower combined, and 600 combined pound-feet of torque. So it shouldn't have any problem on power, but it also has grown, David. I mean, it's a yeah. full crew cab. It's a little longer than mine. Yeah, it has a longer wheelbase, uh, well, actually, we can show us measuring it. So this is approximately 146 inches wheelbase. Your truck is what? 131 and a half. Yep. Uh, and of course, huge crew cab for five people. You could relax and recline and a 5'11", 5 foot 11 inch bed in this one. saying you're kind of like a surgeon with these claws you know <laughs> if there can be such a thing <laughs> well yeah I don't know how accurate I am but but we're a little bit long here yeah I, it's one inch too long <laughs> so we're gonna see if we can't hack it off a little bit all right I'm gonna try and straighten this one up a little bit Straighten that one up. Maybe this will drop down in there. Well, we didn't have any uh, chicken coop needs, so that's why we're demolishing this so we can have a larger area, maybe for parking vehicles. But this chicken coop has served quite well to the previous owner. I may have just screwed myself because I got her wedged in here tight that my, these bolts right here, we may be able to pound them up. Better make sure I have my hammer with me. Yeah, we need to bring but, a big hammer. Look at that, we can fill this whole thing full of chicken. Oh, I, I know, can we take that Peugeot? That that wagon, it, can yeah. we take that too? Yeah, I bet Tommy wished somebody take it off his hands. <laughs> Maybe I'll just drop it right in here. Yeah. He'll never know. Hey, 
so far so good. I got one more big piece and then we got a lot of little stuff to throw in there. Wow, so, I mean, this was kind of a basic building, right? Not not a big deal. Yeah, it had no foundation yeah. and it was rot what was here was rotten on the bottom. So I don't want to drive in here because there's a lot of nails. So I'm going to try and come in sideways and pluck this one out of here. That one I may have to cut up because it's, I think it's, it's too wide to go in there. So. I'll, I'll get it out here so I can cut on it. Okay. We need the uh, tracks on our next machine, right? Yeah. Tracks. I don't have to worry about flat tires. I thought this was uh, plexiglass. No, but it's actually glass. Turns out it was glass. I would have taken it out earlier, but... Well, we can't know everything. truck is pristine it's it's museum quality oh yeah right you should have seen it when I bought it it was uh it, it was, you know how GM had such paint problems back in the day mm, the white what, the what white especially problem? I mean it just flaked off okay you know and the blue did and so when I got it it had uh, maybe three quarters of its paint still stuck so I uh, repainted it same color it looks yeah. still great. Inside it looks great. It, it looks great <laughs> everywhere, pretty much. Yeah, I did at the door the other day. So, so how do you start this beast? I mean, do you have to push a button? Uh, yeah, oh. yeah, it's really oh. high tech. I mean, you do have to push something, and it's the clutch. Okay. So it won't start without you pushing the clutch. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> how many miles on this puppy? It only has 112. So it's brand new? Yeah, and it had uh, about 100 when I got it from the Department of Wildlife. So, I mean, it, it, it has a hard life technically because yeah. it's either off-roading on a ranch, hauling heavy loads, but it's not going tremendous distances, no. probably. Yeah, yeah. And it, okay. I mean, I do take it on the highway. It'll go 80, but, uh, I mean, it's wrapped out at 80 because it's got 14 okay, gears. Well, let me buckle up because we're going to take a quick ride. Okay. Yeah, it's got 14 gears and 454, and I think I got like 30. Oh, hey, I found the battery. Sweet. Okay. We got like 31 inch wheel tires on it right now. Okay. So, uh, Michelin's, that's all I run. Michelin's. You're a Michelin man. I'm a Michelin man. <laughs> yeah. All yeah. right. So, so you've, like we said, you've been working this truck. It really, really is a work truck. That's pretty much what I do. Yesterday, okay. I hauled, hauled the yaks with the horse trailer. I pulled them all out of the one field and put them oh, in another field. That's when the dent, little that's, dent happened. Yeah, I ran into a fence post. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I pretty much use it for work all the time unless I, you know, got to go into the store to get uh, Doritos and beer. That's what I love about this truck. What? Okay, so I'm gonna go four wheel low, and from 92 to 94 is the only years they put first gear in this five speed transmission that was 6.34. I mean, to one? To one. That's okay. low. So for two years, Dodge didn't have it, Ford didn't have it, GM had it in the NV4500. Okay. okay. So you can just put it in. Crawler gear. In crawler gear. And so. You're gonna do your trick, aren't you? Yeah, I'm gonna do the trick here. I'm gonna hold it. Okay. And uh, I mean, it would just crawl up this hill if you wanted. So, so we are going up a hill and we're just crawling and it's yeah. this first gear. Yeah. So now you could haul hay, you could load up. That's right. We put a trailer behind it and this is just a perfect crawl gear. For By the way, we are in the field. Yeah. We're not in public. Yes. I just wanted but to make this sure. This is a closed course. This is a closed By course. By professional drivers. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. I don't think I can do that in the new one. No, I doubt it. No, it's not meant for the. It won't. I mean, it, 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 as soon as you open the door, it will try to disconnect. Even my lawnmower does that. You get out of the seat and it dies. I mean. Yeah. Not many right. vehicles you can still do that. Well, we have a heavy trailer. Let's tow it to the dump. Okay, let's go. Let's put it to work. Whoa, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Change gear, change. 
<laughs> that is a long gear. Yeah, it is a long gear. <laughs> it's it almost as, mega. As big as a mega cab? I would say so. Wow. You mean yeah, Dodge, I mean, Ram, leg Dodge room, Ram Mega Cab? Yeah, leg room. That's as big as any mega cab. Yes. This is awesome. Now, let, let's back up to the trailer. Start it. Uh, how? So it's supposed to be intuitive. Really? So what would, what would you do? What would you do before moving? Uh, before shifting into gear, what would you do? Uh, I would turn the key on. No, you would put on the brake. Oh, brake. Oh, cool. Brake is on. Everything comes up. Now it's so, telling me to put my seatbelt on, but I'm gonna go hook up the trailer. Do I have to put my seatbelt on to go hook up the trailer? No. Good. Why am I wearing my seatbelt? I don't know, because we got to get out and hook up uh, the trailer. Yes, but but so before we do, so did you notice that? So Teslas do the same thing, actually. We've never tested a Tesla before on TFL truck because they don't make a truck yet. Uh, but it's supposed to be natural. So you get in, you push in the brake right. pedal, and the truck just wakes up. Oh, like you it was already on. As if. So that, that was the first thing I wanted you to try. Okay. Now I want you to hook up to the trailer and tell me how, how it's going. So the shifter's in the common spot. Yeah, it's like a three on a tree. It except is. Except it's a one on a tree. Okay, so so just... Just towards you and it. down. You're in drive. Okay. And towards you and up is reverse. Ah, that's well, kind of like my tractor. <laughs> By the way, David covered the trailer with a tarp and he wove a web of straps so we're safe, nice and easy. Let's see if he can line it up using the cameras and all the modes, everything he's got at his disposal. Oh, it just shook my seat. Andre, Andre, my seat just went bloop. Oh, it's warning you that there's something behind you. Yeah, I felt it. Uh, you have another six inches. Six inches? Boy. Uh, that's good. Yeah, I can't, unless I put my glasses on. Oh, my seat's like burping again. <laughs> <laughs> it's burping again. It's okay. All right, you think I'm good? Yeah, park it. Push park. the button. Oh, you push the button. Oh, cool. I mean, I still found myself looking out my mirrors. But then once I looked at the camera, I mean, it's pretty accurate up until that last little bit. I couldn't really... Well, I, I got to give it to you, David. You're still using, you know, your most of your trucks don't have cameras. Yeah, I'm, I don't know if I'm ready for the new world. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever be. But we've tested really together, we've tested Rivian R1T, we've tested F-150 Lightning, we've tested uh, our conversion truck yeah. electric one. I put a lot of miles on the Lightning, I mean a lot of I miles. think you have the most journalist off-road miles, off miles yeah. in any Lightning. I imagine. I even took it on some hard off-road trails when the boss wasn't looking. Let's not do that today. Okay. better take this. Ooh, I don't want to get this truck dirty. Oh, that's okay. It's a work truck. It doesn't look like it. Well, it's new. It doesn't look like no work truck I ever had. It's a steel bed. See, I wanted to be your camera guy, so uh, you do all the work. Yeah, well, I have done, I don't know, you've helped a little bit, but I have done most of the work here. But... Well, you had fun with a grapple claw. Yeah. It's kind of hard to give that up, you know, when you're inside an air-conditioned unit with the radio on. I don't like giving that up. It just said something but it went away so I didn't get a chance. Okay. No worries. Press brake to start. Okay. Trailer brakes connected. I like that. Ooh. Sweet. Sweet. All right so I wanted to show you one more thing. So right now our gain you know, it goes from uh -huh. zero to 10, uh -huh. right? Zero means no trailer brakes. Yep. 10 means maximum trailer brakes. Two. But we have, we're two, and you know why? why? So I set it up because we have so much regenerative braking from the electric motors. Right. How much do you think that weighs? Well, the trailer's like uh, two, 1,800 two. And we put but some I'd, crud in there. Yeah, it's not too heavy. Maybe, uh, this, maybe, truck, maybe. this truck is capable of up to 10. Yeah, thousand. I mean, maybe four or five thousand. So I'm, I'm assuming since we still have trailer brakes, which is important, but I want our regen to help us. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So that's why. Um, so now we can just set our destination and go. We have 80% battery <laughs> okay. and we're towing. So it's estimating 240 miles. So 
But it doesn't know towing. we have a trailer. Well, it will learn okay. as we're going. Okay. All right. Well, it knows we have a trailer because we plugged it in. Okay. So it did, does know that. And it just stops on its own. No brake, nothing. When we get there, we will be able to figure out how much energy we used. Kind of like, you know, and also efficiency, right? So we'll be able to look at that. So you see, it's also cool. one pedal. Yeah, I like that. So it's slowing down. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, it's coming back to me. You know, I, I learned to really love the one pedal driving, especially off road. Uh, going down steep gravel hills, you know. There's nobody here. I mean, it, it's really nice. So there's a mode here that can help. You see that little button? And you can actually remove regen. Oh, cool. So let's try that. Okay. So you could, you oh, will. Just, some you will, just change. I can feel it right there. You will freewheel. So oh. try to let off the the, ga the accelerator. Yep. You see, you're freewheeling. More, more normal. Like Natural. like like a like yeah. an ice vehicle yeah. would be. But you know, we want to take a full yeah. advantage of electricity, well, right? We have all that weight, so you might as well use it. Yep. See now it's different again. It is. <laughs> Even I could feel it. Uh -huh. And I didn't change anything. Because <laughs> I could feel it slow down just a, just that tiny bit. Wow. Because we want to use the gravity to help us, right? So we're hauling a heavy trailer. So why waste that energy? Like let's regenerate it on the way down. Yeah, it feels nice. I mean, this on this gravel road, it feels smooth, very smooth. So I think it's a benefit of the longer wheelbase, right? And it's also a benefit of how heavy this truck is. So is this like the Ford independent suspension yeah. all the way uh -huh. around? Yeah, it is. Okay. So there's a motor in the front, a motor in the rear, they're yeah. all independent. So we do have the comfort of that, right? Yeah. And also, this, ha this has a humongous battery, right? Because it's a 4WT, it's capable of maximum 450 miles of range, empty, when unladen. And well, you have to watch TFL truck to find out. We, we we were able to go very long distance with a trailer with this truck. We're estimated it's around 212 kilowatt hours, which is pretty much double some of the other electric vehicles on the road. It's double the capacity. Yeah. This is close to about 8,500 pounds. What's so it's like a diesel heavy duty truck by curb weight. What's the Ford? The Ford you drove was closer to 6,500, so about a ton less. Wow, because the batteries, yeah. that, that much more battery. Yeah, yeah. Well, it ought to hold the road pulling a trailer, because I mean, that's usually the, you know, the tail's wagging the dog on a trailer, because your vehicle's lighter than yeah. the trailer a lot of times. Yeah. So in this case today, We're our not... truck is much heavier than our trailer. Yeah, so there's, there should not be any stability problems, yeah. I would say. Or braking problems, yeah. yeah. Ain't no wagon going on here. Does this have air conditioning? Because <laughs> it's really hot in here, huh? <laughs> I thought I was sweating. Why am I sweating? Well, we just spent, you know, hours throwing stuff in the back of that trailer, and I'm kind of like... Are you a little sweaty? I'm dirty, stinky, and sweaty. Sorry, Chevrolet. And, uh, they loaned us the truck. Hey, this is a work truck. <laughs> so it should be sweaty, right? <laughs> Mirror's good. You know, for this trailer, this mirror is good. Yeah. If you, if you had a wider trailer, yeah. Uh, like a camper, you oh. may need... Is that the hitch? Yeah, I think we're hearing the hitch go up and down. So why did they put eight lug wheels on the work truck? I, well, I think it's the function of the weight of this truck. That makes sense. Because, right, you know, light duty is like Silverado 1500, yeah. right? Um, they have six lug wheels, right? Yeah. Uh, as soon as you step up to 2,500, 3,500, then none, and none, none, you're getting into eight logs, ten logs, etc. Yeah, it makes sense. So, but it's also the power. Yeah. Right? This has a lot of power. Not only weight, but you need the torque. You need that wheel mounted yeah. properly because you're you have the weight and also 600 pound feet of torque starts that makes to sense. pushing you. That makes sense. Yeah. All right, my friends. So we went. 19.3 miles 1.7 mile per kilowatt hour actually 
that's relatively good efficiency because uh, with a bigger heavier trailer I got about 1.1 so, but this is also stop and go. Yeah, and we've been averaging probably 45 miles an hour, so that's... So stop and go helps a lot, right? Because we're getting some energy back. Yeah, which is counterintuitive because yeah. it's exactly opposite on a... On a ice, gasoline, yeah, yeah. gasoline, yeah. Because when you're in an ice vehicle, gasoline one, you know, stopping, you know, you're just using brakes, right? Yeah. Uh, accelerating uses fuel. Yeah. <laughs> but, but here, we're regaining a little bit of energy. And it... 45 or so and it, our wind drag is not that much so and it's kind of a low trailer anyways yeah. so it said our air conditioner used about 0.3 kilowatt hours so almost nothing hmm. our energy used for propulsion was we've used about 11.5 kilowatt hours so and it's showing see when you were braking slowing down it actually gained energy it shows you in a graph cool. uh, right here so so we're doing pretty well, actually. Yeah, we're almost here. To the landfill, to the, the place where everybody comes out with uh, something they didn't go in with, and that's using nails in your tire. Oh, goody. <laughs> so what do you think about, you know, going 55 or 60 on the highway? What are, what are your impressions of this truck? Uh, it's like smooth, like super smooth. Smooth like but butter? Smooth like butter. Yeah, exactly. We'll see how much we weigh because oh. there's a scale on the. I mean, all of us. Total. I bet, it's, I bet sure. it's a lot. I bet it's a lot. Yeah, there's 14,000. <laughs> what size is that? It's six, six by nine. 10, and then, you know. Here. High. I don't know. Yeah. Full. Yeah, well, it's, it's not packed okay. in there, but. And our truck is very heavy. It's a chicken okay. coop is what it is. It's a what? A chicken coop. Oh, okay. <laughs> but no chickens. Yeah, we didn't bring any chickens. Gotcha. My chickens all died. I'm over them for a while. I just, uh, I just butchered 75 on Monday. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I gr grow meat chickens. Nice. And, uh, yeah, so I just put, what, 370 pounds in the freezer. Nice. Wow. Yeah. That'll last you a winter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I just had, you know... City chickens. Yeah. Of them. The raccoon. Fox got half of them. The raccoon took the rest. Oh. Took them it's while. tough keeping chickens I, alive. Yeah. Well, they, I had them quite a while. They did well. And then I was like, well, oh, you, well. For, you forget the door one night and, I, yeah, I know. and they're gone. <laughs> I blame my kid, but. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, well, no chickens were harmed in the making of this video, right? No. <laughs> we didn't harm I, any. I did harm some chickens this week. We haven't discussed one thing yet. What's that? It's the price of this truck, right? So yeah. this is all new. Afraid to ask. It's it's the first time um, a Silverado EV has been sold in production, right? So yeah. they're starting with the biggest, largest battery, the most capable one, as far as range and efficiency. Well, as far as range is concerned. And um, so 79,800, almost 80. Okay. Wow. And we don't have some fancy features like heated seats <laughs> or massaging seats. Well, it did vibrate my seat when I was getting too close to the trailer. <laughs> yeah, it does have the safety feature. But I think, you know what I equate this to? An analogy would be this is brand new technology. Yeah. Right? Yeah. When I was a little kid, a VCR was came out, right? It was a new technology. Yeah, yeah. It was a new technology. It was very expensive. Uh -huh. Then well, laser discs. Everybody came out. rented a VCR. They didn't go and buy one. <laughs> yes. But now we're way past VCRs. We're past <laughs> laser discs. Yeah. But no more is, Netflix having it shipped to you. Yes. But <laughs> but this is kind of a laser disc of its age, right? It's a brand new technology, which is new, and it will cost money, right? That's that's. I would I would kind of equate it like that. If you had to mow a hundred lawns just to afford a monthly payment, that probably doesn't make sense. Probably not. But if you're a plumber or you know some other skilled contractor, right? And maybe you're making enough money to justify something like this, right? So I, I, I guess you'd have to make business sense, right? Yeah. If it doesn't make business sense, then yeah, it doesn't do make any business sense. And there's always, I mean, there's a lot of things we don't need that we buy anyway, just because we want them. Yeah. And so, I never would disparage anybody who wants to buy something that's nice. I mean, that's their money. They can do what they want. 
I just think calling it a work truck, ah, it's not. Plus. Oh, um, David, um, <laughs> the smell here is not quite pleasing. I, like I said, it, this truck is gonna be out of place right here. <laughs> so we gotta worry about getting a flat tire here, Andre, because a lot of roofing, oh. a lot of roofing goes in and out of here. So what I like to do is I like to pull over and then look at where I'm backing up. Okay. Okay. Let's and close our windows because I don't want all the dust to yeah, fly in here. Yeah, I don't want here. this smelling like this. Keep, keep going, keep going. Don't you like the name of that? Yeah. The Easy Dumper. It's not a pleasant place to be out here. So David, are you ready to turn in your big block? for electric motors? All right, so so here's my conclusion for okay. the day, okay? The driving experience is like second to none. Uh -huh. I, I mean, you're so calm, it's powerful, it stops on a dime, it handles a weight like nothing. It is as confident as a truck can be. However, I don't think I'd switch. And is it is it cost right now? I, I think, Why? Yeah, I mean, so it's not just the initial cost of the truck. I mean, it's the uh, years go by, right? That truck doesn't cost me hardly anything to register and insure. I think people ought to buy this because it's a great truck and it really is a great truck. But hey, don't tell me it's a work truck. I'm sorry, Chevy. <laughs>